Hello, and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2, German Brawlers, episode 37. We're still here in the middle of this battle where we just encountered a French light carrier. We're hoping to find another one. So we saw a sizable fleet up here, but our ships have been damaged, perforated, hurt in a million ways. Dawn is coming, and um, while our sh ships have plenty of flotation left, with their speed and disabled turrets and all that, we should just turn away and head home at this point. We do have the advantage that we have lots of land cover from this point. Oh yeah, and I should take off the black flag. And we don't have our carriers anymore. They uh, retired to Helgeland. Probably should have kept them because they had the fighters on board, and that's primarily why I have them. But I wasn't expecting this fight to last so long. Yeah, one of them progressively flooding. And there's what I was expecting. The aircraft approaching. Corvette taking hits. Or a hit. There's an there's Emden getting hit again. Approaching German Division 66, which is probably be another Corvette. I need to start a Corvette building program between the submarines, the mines, and the aircraft. They're just bleeding Corvettes. It's endless. That first strike of the day where everyone has all their aircraft take off at the same time. However, we're almost to port. We can call it safe and sound. Although Hempton is constantly under attack, is this really a safe port? He thinks not. There's the destroyer division. Get the battle cruisers in, and the Empress of India heading in behind them. Alright, time again. There's the destroyers and the battle cruiser or battleship. I'm continuing to tick because the enemy fleet is close enough and keeps doing that. Not that they're accomplishing much at Emden today. More aircraft at our. He's for a second. I thought that said squeegee, but Sizunge. Time for very fast again. Corvette takes a bomb hit. Probably won't do very well with that. Two more bomb hits for Corvette Karsten. Don't think she'll last. I have nothing to command. Just running out the clock at this time. Whatever happens, happens. It's starting to reach a point where even our own limited aircraft, I mean, we're talking eight torpedo bombers on two light carriers. 
more issues are um, significant enough to take out a semi-modern battleship maybe not entirely but almost on their own not something we can ignore anymore aircraft are getting pretty deadly luckily we have the damage control we can continue to ignore that for a little bit longer but at some point we're going to actually have to build carriers like true carriers meant for independent operations for striking enemy ships. Four enemy dive bombers. Four enemy dive bombers. 20 torpedo bombers, 20 dive bombers. Emden taking some more dive bombers. More enemy bombers on Emden. Oh, and it's almost nighttime again. So much for this being almost at the very end of this battle. Not that we're missing anything. There we go. Finally, at last. Just sat out there plinking away. So we took some damage. We actually did not even lose a Corvette. Meanwhile, the French lost two battleships light carrier, heavy cruiser, two destroyers. Total losses in aircraft. They lost 77, we lost 53, and we have almost twice as many as they do. A lot of air-to-air -air losses for them, so our fighters are doing a good job. Ship loss differential, very significant. Diamond took 25 heavy hits, 5 medium, 10 light, 3 torpedoes. Reichlau. <laughs> that's, that's silly. And the ocean really had been damaged above the deck and not really hurt too much below. Well, that is that. I'm sure we'll get two prestige from that one. Battle of Helgoland Bite. Part three. Since I think we had a part two already. Um, the Karstens are a 1930s design. We actually need to open. Do we need to build an entirely new Corvette? Actually, can we use duels? Only singles. Uh, I think I ask this every time we go to build one of these. Of course, limited to 24 knots. Limited to a two inch belt. And squeeze one more AA gun. Not really anything to add to this. Earths are protected. Oh, dual purpose. Now they'll have heavy AA. 
think one A director is all we really need. It, it's a Corvette. Like, I'm skeptical we even need two fire control positions. Let's see. Oppen von Hamburg. ASW style. And it's such a small change, it'll cost us nothing to make this. Forgot the director. All okay. Yeah, it takes nothing to design that. And... Let's... Actually... Up and down Hamburg. Add... Didn't we find out that the ASW is cut when we add mine sweeping gears, or is it when we add mines that it gets cut in half? I honestly don't remember. Although I'll point out those V1s have mine sweeping gear and their ASW is lower than the Dotsons. Take a look at the design. A guns increased depth charge storage, so they should be comparable. The Dotsons even have less K guns. Oh yeah, it's still beneficial to have them as separate designs. So let's open the Wappen von Hamburgs. Drop that. Add minesweeping gear, have our minesweeping Boppin von Hamburgs. Here we down. Still have quite a few Corvettes. We won't need to build a ton of them. This will be the 1940s design that may take us to the, to the end, really. With the amount of errors, we're, the increasing number of errors we run into in this playthrough, I have a feeling um, we're going to have to cut the game off at the, the intended end date of 1955. I don't think I can really push past that because we just run into so many errors. The Braunschweig. Almost ready. Old Elsass design. That ugly superstructure. And our Lutzow, three turns. Okay. I'm going to set our submarines for prize rules. Hopefully, pick on the Italian sum. We are blockaded. Oh, where do I have coastal fortifications? That's right, we built a bunch of 14 inch down in the Libyan roads, and we had just added some to this area up here. We'll save, move forward. France is dominating, can't do Tunisia, Braunschweig finished. We'll help out our allies. French dive bombers. Italian flying boat, 604 nautical miles. Forward firing ASW mortars. Better AA directors. Hey, radios in aircraft, deck edge lifts, hey, we sank a corvette, and another corvette, enemy merchant 6, and our raiders still picking on French ones because our raiders are up in northern Europe, but our submarines should be split between them. Cruiser battle, medium. 
actually going to decline this one. Destroyer action medium. Sure. Air cleaning main form. Basic data. Treatment. And that battle failed. See, like the game's breaking down so much at this point. Pretty frustrating. And we will have one of our battle cruisers next turn. We have three battleships now. Located, okay, aren't the Brits up here? Wow, the French have quite the force up here. So do the Italians. Yep, I can get by with less. We're still designing the new ship. Reduced horsepower, yes. Our submarine's doing quite a deadly... They're just doing a lot. And Italian merchants. Trade war ramps up. Another battle that failed. I am actually going to cut here and save and reload and see if that helps any. I'll be back shortly. And welcome back. Restarted the program. See if that'll help clear some of the memory errors, at least. Time will tell. Enemy fleets dominating, not surprising. Without border changes. I think not. New medium bomber. Torpedoed a Italian battleship. Took out a French destroyer. Trade war continuing to be fairly decent. British ship, the British lose a battle cruiser. Arcona being intercepted. Not really inter interested in interception fights. Not surprised we lose it. They're not exactly fast anymore. Does that put all of our capital ships available again? Yeah, we're gearing up for a uh, battle now. However, with all of that, we have 118. Can't really get the invasion of Tunisia up and running in the Mediterranean with the forces we have available. Oh, but we can aid in Great Britain's. I don't remember the ratio you need. I don't recall it at the top of my head. Am I running into the design study issue again? Alright, these should be done next turn. Finished our coastal batteries in Germany. Mecklenburg is commissioned. All right. Missiles. Trade war continuing to do well. French ship, Corvette, <laughs> and a battleship. Wow. Cruiser action, gladly. Go check to see the size of it. Huh. Our fast battleships are fast enough to participate in cruiser actions. 28 knots? Okay, good to know. Got our Schwabens this time. And we get the... British battlecruiser Alcante. That has support. I won't get to directly control them. I'll leave the destroyers in a screen formation. Seem to intelligently get out of the way, unlike before. Earlier in the campaign, they really 
weren't being smart. I don't know if that's some of the updates or if it's the the errors we're running into. We have something. Not quite go full speed. Close in. Picking up multiple contacts now. 11? 10,000 yards at close to noon. Well, I'll set the black flag right from the beginning then. Squad max. So we're coming into close range now. That's their screen. Opening fire will come hard to port. Plenty of torpedoes headed our way, I'm sure. Disabled turret, belt extended hit. Two 14 inch shells into enemy fleet. Weissenberg takes two hits, one penetrating. That ends slightly. If we, yeah, that one bounced. They kind of angled. Breedland. 12 15 inch guns. Actually threatening. Thin deck too. Breedland takes a hit. Weissenberg loses a turret. Which one? Forward one. A turret. The Weissenbergs really only have three turrets. But we have the 9 inch secondaries, which should actually be able to penetrate at this range. I can double check that. 10,000. More of our torpedo range. 13,000. Let's look at that. Uh, no, actually, they can't. Not even a point blank range. So they'll be plinking away at the extended belt for these Friedlands. Into the Friedland. Weissenberg takes a medium penetrating hit to the superstructure. Alright, continue to shadow behind. We want to angle in a little bit more. Their destroyers are now maneuvering a bit more. We're going to come hard to starboard. Lost fire control on the Weissenberg. Friedland's taking a couple more hits. A couple more hits. Wow, their destroyers are getting very aggressive. We asked for it though. Friedland taking another one. Oh, magazine hit. We're full about now. Keep coming to starboard, come back to port, do an S turn. 14 inch on the Friedland, two more. Another one. We'll come hard to starboard. Some of their destroyers going kind of slow now. And back to starboard. Right. Now if only we can get this destroyer to we gotta worry about this one as well. Oh, 14 inch hits. That destroyer is not feeling good. Alright. Coming in on the remaining Friedland. Two nine inch hits. Weissenberg, multiple non-penetrating hits. Multiple casualties on board. Uh, equipment casualties. Weissenberg takes a heavy hit. Nine inch into the Friedland. Ooh, a couple more hits. Weissenberg is actually taking a beating. Nine inch guns. Still doing good work. Two heavy hits on the Weissenberg. Want to pass through. Weissenberg takes two more heavy hits. 
I've been shown to like. Oh. British destroyer is getting particularly aggressive. On the starboard, just a tad. Friedland doing 20 knots, medium damage. 9 inch hit last minute, 14 inch hit this round. Oh, suddenly a lot of hits onto the Friedland. A lot more, including a 9 inch. 114. 114. On fire. One nine inch. All right, let's cut in. Oh, we're on fire too. Fourteen inch on the Friedland. Nine inch. That sabers making me nervous. Our secondaries are now engaging them. Or tertiaries. Or both. Saber should be as good as done. And safely turn in and chase down this Friedland. The disposition of the rest of their destroyers. Kind of torn up their screen. 14 inch hit on the Friedland. Another 14 inch. Another 14 inch. Weissenberg gets rid of the fire. Orange on the Friedland. Two, three heavy hits on the Friedland. Nine inch, two heavies, one heavy, one medium, one heavy, one medium, one heavy, two heavies, one medium, two heavies, one medium, two heavies, I think she's pretty much done. Yeah, she has multiple turrets, destroyed and disabled. Let's dance. Oh, S-33 getting torpedoes off of the Friedland. Missed. Alright, cut back to port. And give chase to the Friedland again, ignoring the s Bingole now. Still might get their torpedoes off the Bacante. Everyone launching torpedoes at the Friedland. Um. Yipe. <laughs> Friendly fire torpedoes. Very not friendly. Luckily none hit. Hey look, more targets. We are down a bit on ammunition. Oh, that's a lot of torpedoes. Stationary ship. Got this light cruiser out here. Got one hit on him. There's that ship again. Stationary though. And just considered sunk. Let's head down to the French port. See if we can intercept that light cruiser. Yes, we will pick up survivors from the Friedland. We will offer them bratwurst, and they will like it. Yeah, 
we might not be able to catch up to this light cruiser and they just fixed their engines by pulling away. And it is eight o'clock at night, turn around. Drop to twenty knots. Oh, never mind, it's over. So we successfully engaged and destroyed two of their fast battleships. Got two of their destroyers. None of them were light cruisers, despite the identification. Friedland took nine heavy hits. That's it. Fourteen. Fourteen. 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14. Nine 14 inch shells. Who needs 16 inch guns? Not that I won't build 16 inch armed um, battleships, and I'm considering that for the next one, but it's the 16 inch or bust club, not needed. 14 inch, I think, is a sweet zone. Of course, the Brennus was the one that we disabled and sat there floating for ages, getting absolutely destroyed. I guess I shouldn't be too excited about the Friedland. Nine heavy shells because one got lucky and did a magazine hit. But we'll still take the two prestige. Uh, go to the build screen for that one. MS Poppenbergs to eight of those. The ASW, and we'll do twelve. And our other Schwaben is about to finish. Save it there. France is dominating, dominating, bad weather, the ring in, recommissioned, Robin in the yard with problems, Norkel being sold to us by the Brits, except I think I declined it, I didn't read that one, no, no, we did, all right, I had that one right, I, I still didn't read it very carefully before hitting OK. Ripley and Emden have their larger base sizes. Enemy coastal raid in the Baltic medium size. I can do medium. Get British help. Medium as in destroyers and cruisers. Well, let's take a look. See what happens. Already combat. Have reports. North northwest. Not to squad bags. Might wear out our engines, but they're oil, not coal. They're a little far away. That's right, ultra fast tends to run poorly now. It'll be a hunt for some destroyers. I doubt they've continued on that straight course. But lacking a better vector. What do you know? And we're up there. Blow it down. Set the black flag. It's gonna be a close engagement. Looks like two destroyers. Uh. 
cut straight through the center of their formation. Hard to starboard. Rotation damage. Keep coming starboard. Engage with from the port side. Torpedoes away. Cut to port. Oh, that's a cruiser. I have no more torpedoes on that ship. Four and one. Quad mount ready on the V-29. Conquest and Cleopatra are now closing finally. Ah, oh, just missing. That one will miss forward too. Get the V-21 into... 29 into position. V-11 now taking significant damage. Pronto turning away, intelligently. Cleopatra avoiding torpedoes. And with that, I actually have to go. So, um, until next time, thanks for staying with me till the end. Leave me a comment below, and I'll see you next time. Take care.